What's up, y'all? It's gardening day. Gardening day. Gardening day. We're having a full house of gardening activities. You can see her with her peace lily. I'm about to repot it. Looking like my grandmother over here. You look just like Mama when she used to replant her plants, change the pots. Some people do this for fun. She, yeah, like her. She used to Me? do it in the living yeah. room with newspaper. <laughs> cool. All right. So today I'm going to give you guys an update on my crops, my corn, my watermelon. They both blossomed. They both sprouted up through the ground. Um, it's amazing. I didn't think anything would grow, but here we are. First, I'm going to show you my corn. Let's see. All right. So there's the corn. I planted them two Sundays ago. It said it was supposed to take, I believe, like between 10 to 14 days to start sprouting up. They sprouted up. They began sprouting up, I believe, was it Tuesday? Earlier this week, Tuesday? Yeah, they weren't supposed to grow until, nothing was supposed to come up until like at least Sunday. The Sunday coming up, well, actually tomorrow. But yeah, I planted two kernels of corn in there. Both of those came up. I planted two in here. Looks like those two came up, and I planted two in this hole, and those two came up. And let's check on the watermelon. The watermelon has been growing. You see that? Yep, yep, yep. I planted two in each also, and it looks like those two are coming up. There's one, there's two. You can see the seed still on the top of that one that's sprouting up. And then I had two in here, but it looks like only one came up. So my plants are growing. What I plan to do today, I've actually been watching videos on growing crops. And I, yeah, I made a few mistakes. I could have I could have had a raised bed. I could have dug out the grass and everything so I can ensure that my crops have the best chance of growing. Um, so what I'm gonna do today, I think I'm going to take all of this grass out and dig more grass. And I guess, I don't know, I might just put more soil around them if that'll help them out since she's already using the soil. So yeah. I'm gonna get to it. I've been watering them every day. I talk to them, I give them love, I spread love. So I'm about to dig this grass out. You guys have been so helpful with giving me tips on what I can do. So somebody said that, I forgot what they called it, but it basically meant de, de grass in the area, pretty much taking out all the weeds or whatever. Um, Cause they said that chokes the crops. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I got my gloves, got my gardening tool. Um, you guys said this was a gardening spade, so I am learning things along the way. Um, somebody left a comment, said it was a spade, so I'm learning. So thank you guys for leaving comments. Thank you guys for um, teaching me the way, showing me your ways on how to do things right. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun with this. So yep, I'm just about to dig in here and get all this grass out. Because I don't want my weeds to be I don't want my crops to be choked. So I don't want any vegetation competing with my crops. You know, I gotta give them all the good nutrients. You know, I can't have my corn competing with grass. So I'm gonna just take all this grass out. I ain't gonna mess it up too much. Just, just anything that comes close to harming my, harming my guys, I'm just gonna remove it. Pretty much, I'm digging a moat around the holes that I dug, and I just take this grass out of here. All right, so we have neighbors on both sides now, so they probably think I'm weird. Back y'all up so I see y'all can see that. See what I'm doing. See, I'm just taking the earth and moving it from my corn. Making sure my corn is the only thing that's in here and the only thing that's growing. I have to be careful not to cut any corn roots. Get all that out of there. That's grass, that's grass, 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 get that out of there. Yep, get that out. Yeah, they was sure enough about to start competing with my corn. They all up in here. 
They all up in the good soil. Alright, and let me get this guy on the end. Now, some of the tips that I have been researching, they say corn likes natural soil. Um, it likes the natural organic um, nutrients that it gets from the soil, the natural soil that's already there. It also likes good fertilized soil. So, I, I, think, I guess I did kind of the right thing by putting it in the natural ground. Um, I could have added some nutrients, some good, I guess some good soil nutrients or whatever you call it. Um, pretty much like steroids for plants or whatever. Some fertilizer. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little soil, a little more good soil down here too. I said it's good to mix it up and get a good mixture of nutrients and the natural. Yeah, but next time I'm definitely making a bed, a raised bed for these crops. All right, let's see what we have so far. All right, so that's what I dug up around my corn. You see the corn plant right there, and I dug up the vegetation around it so it doesn't have any clear competition. Just taking all that grass out. And yeah, you can see my guys better. You can see them a little bit clearer. They don't have any competition. Now, it's time for my watermelon. I'm still debating on whether or not I should do this whole metal thing too. I think I should. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna clear that out from around the watermelon, and then I'm gonna get this whole metal. Because a lot of you guys in the comments have been saying watermelon needs a lot of room to grow, and I believe it. If it's supposed to, be, if the final product is supposed to be a 25 pound watermelon, then yeah, it doesn't look like a 25 pound watermelon can go between these three holes. So yeah, I'm gonna make the best out of whatever I can make it. All right, so let's start digging around my watermelon. Be careful not to take the watermelon plant out. Just digging a hole around watermelon plants around the plots just taking all this dirt up out and throwing it and tossing it to the side yep. trying to get this without affecting the plant at all I don't want to go down too deep and cut that vein or whatever. Cut the root. So once you kill the root, it's dead. So we're going to try not to get too close. While still getting out everything you can get. Ooh, these bugs out here. I ain't, I ain't with it. You gotta get up in there. Uh-uh. I don't wanna be too much, too close to the watermelon. Am I hurting you guys? 
Uh -uh. I think that's as far as I'm gonna go to that one. Just removing everything I can away. All right, so this is what's going on with the watermelon. Let's get all that debris out. All right, so we got the watermelon cleared out a little bit. Get that a little room to breathe. Hopefully one of those turn out good. Got my corn separated. Um, so yeah, here's the plant. Here's the thing from my, the rows from a watermelon. Here's the ones from my corn. Still got this patch in between them. I'm trying to debate and decide if I should take that out or just leave that in there. I think I'm about to, I might as well just go ahead and take that out too, huh? Let's go ahead. Now it's starting to look like a real farm, a real plant, a real garden. Alright, so here we have the watermelon and we have the corn and you see I cleared out all that middle space, I cleared out all that grass so hopefully my plants don't have to compete with the grass to grow. So yep, you guys should get all the nutrients you need. Alright, next order of business, I think I'm going to put this soil down, I'm going to water them. Um, so yeah, hopefully though. Get all the nutrients they need. Uh-oh, she took the soil in. Oh wait, never mind, here to go. Just gonna put a little bit down. All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just putting a little dirt on top. Just spring a little dirt, just not too much. And uh, just wanna make sure they get all the nutrients that they need. I'm just sprinkling a little top on the top layer. Sprinkling some fresh soil. And then I'm just gonna mix it in like that. You know, so they can get a good mixture of the good soil and the the, the the regular organic soil. You know, just mixing that all in there. Yep, yep, yep. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Yep. Cool. So there's my flower bed. Now all they need is some water. All right, so I got my water. Um, one problem I do foresee myself uh, encountering or running into. Um, since these things have sprouted, you know, they're coming up from the ground and they're supposed to bear fruit, right? Or bear vegetables. They say, well, one thing I can see, I can see some kind of animal getting back here and trying to eat my crops before they fully grow. Um, like snakes, rats, whatever, whatever eats corn, um, birds maybe. I can see them trying to come after my corn. So I need to find a way to prevent that. That's my next battle I must defeat. Also, uh, one thing that I might run into my corn, I'm not sure about my watermelon. I haven't done so much uh, research on watermelon, but on my corn, I said I may have a problem with pollination and getting a good kernel on my corn 
because the corn kernels they need pollination to grow um, and one way you get pollination is I guess whatever is on top of this plant right here at the top when it grows big and tall during pollen season it's supposed to come off and fertilize the other corn the silk of the corn the silk of the corn meaning the the corn husk I think they might actually grow but I don't think I'm gonna actually get corn to eat because there's I don't think I'm gonna have good pollination because I don't have a lot of corn growing to fertilize each other so I guess we'll see what other issues I run into but until then I guess that's that's all the updates I have for you guys right now um, subscribe like the channel um, if you want daily updates follow me on Instagram mr. budgets um, I'll try to post pictures on YouTube also because I know everybody's not on Instagram um, but thanks for thanks for your comments thanks for all the advice um, and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye